Hello everyone and welcome back to CIGTR channel. So today I will make a tutorial to show you guys how to draw and color eyes in Mediband. Of course, depending on your style, you maybe will have a lot of ways to color and drawing eyes. Uh, so I will try my best to show you all the way that I know all the steps that I used to color the eyes in Mediband. So before I go in to show you the color step, I will show you some tips and tricks that I use to draw the eyes. As the eye in the screen right now, you know that Medibank has nap, right? So I use that as a trick to have the perfect circle eye to make it look so cute, right? And I use this nap here to draw the circle and if it's not the place that you want it to be, you could click the wheel here and move it around here. So I will turn off this layer here. So I will work in a layer two and work from the beginning here then with that you have a perfect circle that's really easy and quick right and then from this part here i will draw the eyelid first eyelid second eyelid like this okay and depending on the style here i want to make it look really detailed and uh, cute so i will draw two lines in here so i can show you some eyelash at the bottom eyelid here the under eyelid okay that's it and for the upper eyelid i will draw two lines like this okay two lines like this i remember that if you don't know where it should be in you can draw a line like this to know where to end the apply it and then you use the eraser to erase it and then you are done the first look of the apply it and then now you will increase the size of the brush in here and do like this pan it pan it pan it because upper eyelid is always look thicker than the under eyelid right so and now some curvy eyelash here like this okay and now the circle is not in the way that I want it to be I will use the select tool here and drag it you move to here and drag it to the place that I want it to be and then this select here okay look great and for something you can draw a lot Okay, the double eyelid and draw it in here. Now fix it a little bit until you satisfy. Cut out like this and then draw the middle one, the black, the pupils in here and you just draw the line okay because later you will paint, recolor it and this will be the shadow you can divide it like this depending on your choice you divide like this it's just the guideline so don't really strict about it or curvy like this depending on your choice and this will be the light bouncing and then this if you have more bouncing light or something special about the eyes here you can draw in here to make the guidelines like kind of like this and you have done the drawing of the eyes okay so i because the time that spending here is shorter and I fix a lot in the, this one and this one will be the sample that I work on this so okay I will make another layer to go to the color step and the first style I will choose is really quick so it will be the self shading style and let's start the self shading style is different from the painting style because it will have the neat look and because of that you will have to make the light work first so i will lower the opacity of the sketch layers here and have another layer to work on the sketch and now i will choose another brush um i always use g pens in here because it will uh, have the low opacity of the pens in here so it can make a great look the neat line for this one and now 
uh, based on the skank and you just continue to lie the work around here and depending on how you can lower the opacity in here so it will have the great look of this carefully to lie it the tip for lining that you will make a short line short line like this and connect them put it together okay let's have fun and i will speed a little bit in here so it's not a boring video Okay, now you are done the light work here. Uh, spending your time to fix and refine it, to retouch it a little bit to make sure it looks beautiful. And of course, um, remember to connect on the lines uh, in here. So later when we fill it, we will make a mess with that. Okay, looks great. And I will create another layer in here. This is layer 4, and I will put it below, above, below, right, uh, under the layer 3. And now I will use the bucket tool to fill the upper lid in here. So it can have a dark place. And then I use the pen tool in here to continue to draw some stroke line and make sure there is no blank space, no white area okay looks great uh, now i will decide to merge layer 3 and layer 4 together mm, that's right now and we we'll use the eraser in here to erase a little bit in here okay and now I create another layer that's a layer 5 under the layer 4 this one will be the eyes the pupil here but before I doing that, I must use that layer file here and choose white. Remember, this is a self shading style, okay? So, um, of course, the white in here will really hard for you to see. So, I will create another layer. Okay, I will put the name here so you won't make a mess later. And white. Okay, so the background layers in here to help you a little bit with this, you end on the fill tool in here to drag it and you will fill on the pictures in here. Why are you doing this? Because later when you paint the white, use the pen tool, draw the white around the eyes in here. Okay. And bucket tone to view so you can see it clearly right the place of the white so you can fix it later if there's some place that you think is not good not smooth like that like this if you don't have the background in here you can see anything so that's why you must have the background here first if you didn't feel it it's okay you can create another layer and put it uh, under the white layers in here okay look great and now the white in here will be the base color the base layer i create another layers in here that's the layer seven and this is will be the pupil not the student it's pupil okay and i choose clipping see the clipping so the pupils in here will work in the area of the white in here and um, let me see, let me see. I will make a red eye. Okay, red. Just pick the color that you think is good. And then you book a tone in here and fill it. See? The pupils in here will work in here. And create another layer, city layer 8. And I rename it into the shadow. Choose clipping. And now the tips in here. Multiply. Now. I will use the G pads in here and move it into the gray color. You will see. You see because of the clippings in here, so I wrap from the outside in here, but it still just work in the white area. And because of that, few, few, few. That's it. 
you create a shadow. Now I'll turn up the background here. You can see the effect of the cell shading in here. This looks great, right? Turn out the pupils in here, create another layer between the layer shadow and the layer pupil. This is will be the coloring. I didn't know what name I should put for this, so just mean that I will coloring the eyes in here. So I will make the mess with the pupils in here. Later I will merge them, but I just love to work separate first, so I will make a mess and I can go back it if I make some mistake. Okay, so the coloring in here, I pick the colors, use picking eyedropper tool in here and pick the dark color of the shadows in here, the, here the, in the shadow, okay. You see you have the dark red and now I will drag it lower a little bit in here so I can have the uh, dark color and now you see pick um brush in here and i will enable the layer one see the layer one in here so i can see where the pupil that i intend to draw or you can use the trick in here let's use this one and draw the circle put in here Ta -da! and see really quick Oops, sorry. Oh, must be in the coloring layer. Lower the brush a little bit and turn up and this, this, that's it. You have the black part of the uh, this one. So now you see that you have really the good look of the coloring here. And now the next step is I want to have some thing else that the, a little bit detailed. So I create a layer test in here and decide to pick the pink color. It's just like the skin color because I love this one. Um, I will pen a little bit in here for the lower lid to make it look cool that's it and now the background I will enable it use the hue cell rotation by choosing the filters in here and hue or you simply just click control or command with you okay and Draw the hue cell rotation of the background here. I will change it and put it, put it in brightness, kind of like this. Okay, great, great. And see now you will have the skin color of the character. And based on the white here, the background here, I will choose the darker color. Pick the color of the skin and lower the opacity, changing to there. Drag it. And pick a color in here. Let me check. Okay, look great. And now, do you know what I'm doing? I'm creating the shadow of the eyes in here and creating the eye back. Like this, and pick the not using the eraser because you are painting in the background in the layers in here, and so you just want to erase something. You pick the color, the base color of the skin here, the skin color, and pan it over it like this to make it smooth. Okay, great, and go back to the colorings here, the layer 10, I will drag it above, oh no no, sorry, I will create another layer, forgot this one is under lid, mm -hmm. this one is still missing a little bit in here, let me erase that, okay, looks great now. And Cal, okay, now you see the layer 11 that will be lightening, 
light light as you can just light is enough and of course pick the white and create a white in here see you're done or just a small white in here is enough or maybe a white in here is enough just depend on your choice it's spent on your style okay i think that should be around here and around this part here okay great now and for a layer four in here some tips and tricks to make it beautiful create another layer to see layer 12 and choose clipping in here and okay now i will choose watercolors in here uh, pick the color of the dark one here and move it into um, here okay and pan it a little bit That's it. Does it depend on your choice? Or you can use the clipping layers in here if you have the uh, character have the eyelash is like white eyelash or silver eyelash or golden eyelash just like this and use the fill tool and then you can do like this. That's it. So depend on your choice in here and I refer if you use sales setting style, put it in simple like this is enough. And that's it all for this quick easy coloring eye in Medibank I will go with the next part in different style thank you for watching and see you next time